right, hello everybody, this is Thomas Wong with Real Life Trading, and today we're going to do a brief overview of the Risk Profile tool on Thinkorswim. If you like this type of content, please comment down below and don't forget to check out our website at reallifetrading.com. Check out our free courses on how to day trade and swing trade. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. There's a lot in this tool and we're just going to cover some of the best features. I already have a tr simulated trade uh, loaded here, and this tool is especially nice um, so that you can load up simulated trades and analyze them before you even get into them to see how it would work out. Um, and you can also look at any positions that you currently have and analyze them. If you were to go, let's clear out this, and then you can see positions that you're currently in. Um, Let's say we're just going to focus on this um, simulated trade. Um, we're going to analyze this bull put spread on lows. So right now we have loaded in here. Uh, we're selling the 180 and buying the 175 to create a bull put spread. Right now it's showing that it would pay us 91 cents this trade as a credit. A couple things to talk about on this screen first. Down here, this X axis is the price of the underlying stock. So this is the price of lows um, as it moves up and down. And this is your profit and loss over here on the Y axis. Um, if you wanted to be able to see more of this chart, you'll notice if I click here, I can't move that Y axis. You actually have to come up to this little box and click on fix Y scale. And then you can actually move and see that, um, see more of the charts. This blue cyan line here is the PL line, profit and loss line for of lows at expiration. Right? So if this pull put spread, if we were to put this on, this is what the profit and loss curve looks like at, at expiration based off of where it is on the underlying price. The expiration curve um, is, is theoretical. You're almost never um, going to get this exactly. Reason being is this purple line here is where it actually is today, right? So if we were to get into this trade, these red markers show our break even points for each of those curves. And you can see right now how uh, different it is right now, the break even um, versus the break even at expiration because there's so much uh, time decay that can take place. One other thing before we jump into more about these lines here, these curves, I did want to make sure to point out the shaded area here. Uh, this sometimes confuses people. This just shows the probability that the stock price will land in this shaded area um, at expiration. So the probability range is currently set to one standard deviation, right? Plus or minus one standard deviation. And it basically just says that we have a 68.27% chance of being within this shaded area at expiration. Uh, you can change that to any other um, probability you want. See, you know, 95% chance. Um, and you can see how much wider that range gets because of the uncertainty. So what if we wanted to see how this trade evolves over time? Well, there's a couple ways we can do that. Um, first, we can come down to this date box down here and we can actually step forward in time. And you'll notice as I click this button up, the purple line changes and you can see how that slope steepens over time, right? Because as time goes on with this type of trade uh, as a bull put spread, time is on our side and theta is eating away at that premium. So we can actually visually see how that changes over time by clicking um, and stepping forward through time. Um, while that's fine and dandy, that doesn't give you too much. What if you wanted to see everything all at once? Well, we can do that too. You come up to here where it says lines. Um, we can change this to a day step. We're going to add four day step lines. All right. So what I just did here is if you notice in the lower left hand corner, this is the profit and loss at each of those dates as I drag my cursor across. And right now you'll notice that they have a difference of seven days in between them. That's because right now our step size is seven. We can increase this or decrease this at will and you can see the dates change. Back with uh, seven days, we can see basically week by week 
how the trade evolves and how this trade moves from this purple curve here all the way up to this yellow curve right here or we're um, very profitable and, and there's been a lot of time decay. All right, so we can see at any point as I drag my cursor along the screen, you can see the white number is the current day's profit and loss, but the lower left-hand corner, you'll see each of those different days as the weeks go on, you can see that profitability level as we drag our curve. Um, a drag our cursor as the uh, price of Lowe's changes. Pretty cool. The last um, feature I want to point out here is the price slices tool, right? So what this does is it allows you to set a certain price of the stock and it will actually tell you what the profit uh, and loss would be at that price. So the current default is you have, um, you have your zero or break even. Um, and then you have a plus 10% move and a minus 10% move. Uh, you can add more lines by just clicking this plus button. Um, and then you can come over here and change uh, these numbers, right? So if we want to see 180 and 190, you can see that those lines show up here on our chart and it will tell you what the price is. You don't actually have to hover your cursor over that point. You can actually see what it is um, for, for the day's movement. And these price slices um, will update the PL based off of this date down here. So if we move this up and down, you can actually see that those price slices will uh, also update their PL accordingly. If you click over here at these three little lines right here, you can actually set slices. They have a bunch of different presets. So if you want to see plus or minus two and five dollars, you can see just click that and it loads right there, or you can just uh, reset your slices just like so. All right, that concludes our brief overview of the risk profile tool on Thinkorswim. If you found this video enriching, please hit the like and subscribe button for more content. And I hope that you all have a great day.